A man believed to have terrorized women in Florida in the 1980s has been linked to even more cases in another county, according to authorities. In 2020, officials in Miami-Dade County arrested 62-year-old Robert Kohler and accused him of being the pillowcase rapist. They say he broke into the homes of women, put a pillowcase or other covering over their heads, and sometimes his own head, and sexually assaulted and robbed them. Now investigators say DNA has linked Kohler to six sexual assault cases in Broward County. 2019, I started a sexual battery initiative to ensure that all of our sexual uh, battery cases were looked at and re-examined, and all of our sexual assault kits were tested. During this time, I discovered a newspaper article about the pillowcase rapist, and I started trying to identify some of these cases that matched this MO for this particular individual. Sergeant Cami Floyd says Kohler could be responsible for as many as 45 sexual batteries. She says she went through thousands of Broward County case files from the 1980s, trying to find similarities with the Miami-Dade cases. She says cases that had DNA were sent to a lab, and several came back with a match to Kohler. Some of the victims are still alive today, and we're glad to hear that a suspect has finally been identified. I was very floored. I didn't think for a second that that evidence would still be there. I think it gives me closure. It gives me a little peace of mind that, hey, you know, he finally got caught. He deserves to be put away and never come out. I mean, why should he be walking around? I mean, I got over it pretty well, and I'm sure a lot of women didn't. Robert Kohler has pleaded not guilty to charges of sexual battery, kidnapping, and assault in Miami-Dade County. The public defender's office says it does not have a comment on the new accusations against him. Officials say after his case is adjudicated in Miami-Dade County, he will be brought to Broward County to face charges there. Investigators say they believe more victims are out there and are hoping they will come forward to pursue justice. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.